I'm here tonight. Uh, I've got a Atwater Kent Model 40. Power supply, as everybody may know on these radios, were only made for 100 volt AC. A lot of them burn up. Okay. I decided to do something kind of against the rules, but I did it anyways. I got all number 30 vacuum tubes, and I made a homemade power supply for a battery powered radio. Okay. And I put this thing together. I looked at an Atwater Kent number 30 uh, wiring schematic. Basically, all you got to do is kind of different. Is you um, on this tube here where the 27 normally goes, you got to get the 27 and use the base, and then take a part of 30, and then put the pins in the right or the wires in the right area of the pins, which uh, effectively works as just plain as a four pin 30. Alrighty. Anyhow, I was told, you know, and looked around and asked people, and of course everybody, you know, kind of puts you out there on these things nowadays. Um, there's one thing about it, though, um, the filaments, like on the 30, you can turn down the audio filament, and you don't have, you know, the audio noise when you turn down the volume on here, which is the antenna, it uh, has a noise. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to plug it in. I'm kind of still my prototype. And... Uh, Lots of gain. Here's with the audio wide open and no antenna. W, uh, that's Grand Ole Opry. Across the country, around the world. This is the old night. 6.50 a.m. WSF. Anyhow, um, just thought I'd show this. I'm going to here soon wire it all back together. I was just kind of excited to show this. Um, this can be done. This is a fix-all solution. You could probably even put a 1A's in here. Different types of triode, four-pin triodes would work in here that's out there if you want to go for the higher volt or lower volt or if you just want to say the heck with a, the battery eliminator and just run off of batteries I'd recommend just getting a bunch of uh, power drill batteries and you can build your own battery pack but anyhow I thought I'd kind of kind of show this off tonight because I know there's a lot of these out there they want three or four five hundred dollars to go through a power pack for one of these things and let me tell you it doesn't sound any better than what it is now um, I had this thing working on AC. Of course, I knew that the um, the power pack had bad filters I couldn't get to across the chokes. It finally cooked it. Forgot one day. It got quiet. Of course, it burned it up. So I decided I'm not going to spend all that money. These things you can buy the whole radio working like brand new condition usually at radio shows for less than a hundred bucks. Okay, so they're not like a really rare radio or anything. However. Um, it's nice to be able to fix it for like less than a hundred dollars if you can find your tubes pretty cheap which I watch on eBay and I got all these tubes here for less than fifty dollars and then of course the power supply around sixty five so I'm a little over a hundred but um, a lot more efficient I can turn it on and leave it on the entire day long I don't have to worry about nothing burning up uh, the type 30 tube was a very good tube um, very responsive and uh, you know it works really good this way um, it's a lot lighter. Oh man, you can actually mail something like this. Um, so anyhow, the only thing I didn't have is a choke, which my speaker up here, which a cone usually goes bad, you mount a regular speaker with an output transformer in there, and that's bridged across here. So if somebody was to put like a horn speaker in here, they'd have to mount a choke right here to put it in series here with the pins, so then they wouldn't have a distorted sound. Anyhow, just thought I'd show that off tonight. It is possible to do. There's many different things you can do with these early TRF radios. Um, people don't want to tell you or they make it hard on you. They want to play games and on and on and on and on. And I just got sick and tired of it. Found it out for myself. Fixed it right. Biased. I biased or not biased but um, I gone ahead with the grid leak about 2 meg on this 30. 
which works really good from under the underside. So I cleaned up a bunch of the junk, got rid of a lot of the wires, and just made it really simple. Just like an old 327 Chevrolet. Anyways, I will uh, post this and thanks a lot. Questions are welcomed. I'll be glad to kind of give you a few pointers if needed. Thanks.